Hello, my name is Gary Wells. I'm a professor at BMCC, and today I'm going to give a little presentation about the normal curve. I hope you enjoy it. So today we're going to talk about the normal distribution. And before we begin, we have to introduce the concept of a z-score. A z-score is used to calculate a data value's distance from the population mean. The z-score of a data value represents its distance above or below the mean measured in standard deviations. The formula for the z-score is z equals x minus mu divided by sigma, where x is the given data value, the lowercase Greek letter mu, written like this, is the population mean, and the lowercase Greek letter sigma, written like this, is the population standard deviation. To find the z-score for a given data value, mean and standard deviation, we do this. Suppose you are told someone named Mr. Smith weighs 158 pounds, that the mean weight of the population is 150 pounds, and that the standard deviation is eight pounds. Then we apply the formula. Mr. Smith's z-score is, Z equals 158 minus 150 divided by 8, which simplifies to 8 over 8. And of course, that means it's equal to one standard deviation above the mean. We can also solve that formula for sigma or mu, given the other two values. Here's what the solution would look like. Sigma would be equal to x minus mu over z, and mu would be equal to x minus z times sigma. To find the z-score for a sample mean and sample standard deviation, we use a slightly different formula. But when we're working with the sample, we use uh, x bar to represent the sample mean, and lowercase s is the sample standard deviation. So the formula is z equals x minus x bar divided by s, where again, x is the data value. So now we can talk about the normal distribution. Many data sets that we commonly use, like those for the heights, weights, and IQs, are said to be distributed normally or to be expressed as examples of a normal distribution. Such a distribution has the following properties. The mean, mode, and median are all equal. The curve is symmetric about the center, in other words, around the mean. Exactly half of the values are to the left of the center and exactly half are to the right. And the total area under the curve is equal to 1.000 or 100%. The standard normal distribution is also called the bell curve, and you can see that it looks a little bit like a bell. We can find the area under the curve for a given z-score using uh, common tables. And this table shows the percent of the area to the left of z, and we'll use it as follows. Finding areas under the standard normal curve, we first locate on the table the line containing the first two digits of the z-score. Then we go over to the column containing the third digit of the value and locate the number in the intersecting column and row. That's the area under the curve to the left of that value of z. Notice that the area can be read as a percent if you move the decimal point two places to the right and attach the percent sign. Can you see that the area under the curve to the left of z equal to 1.92 is 97.26% or 0.9726? Here's go down to 1.9 and then go over to the column under 0 0.02 and right there, the number underlined in red is the area to the left of the curve for z equal to 1.92. 